After a really long time of waiting and watching the trailers a lot, We Live in a Society the Movie is finally out. I saw it last night, and what did I think of it? It's pretty good. You already know it's pretty good. I'm gonna try and keep this video short because I have a lot of homework to do. Please help me, I'm failing all of my classes. But since I saw it, my channel is dying and the movie just came out, I figured I'd make a video about what I thought of the movie. Because clickbait, I need views. Please watch my videos. So I'm just gonna jump right into it of what I thought of the movie. Uh, so let's start with the acting. I don't know how to say the actor's name. I don't know if it's uh, Jochen... This, this guy, Joker, the society man, the gamer. He's the best part of the movie. It's, it's worth going to see the movie just to see him act. I've never really seen him in anything else other than like Gladiator, but I haven't seen all of that movie. I've only seen some of it. It's okay. That's not important right now. It's he's am he's amazing. He really carries the movie completely. It's it's great. His manner, every little mannerism, every laugh. It's 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 really really good. The real question of the hour is though, is he as good as Heath Ledger's Joker? No. I don't think anybody could be as good as, as Ledger. But he's definitely really good, and he's probably the second best live-action Joker. He's, he's phenomenal. You know, honestly, he is, it is by far the best part of the movie. Another thing I really liked was the music and sound design. I don't usually notice this unless it's outstanding, so it's it's outstanding. It, I, it is perfect. It, the music is just so creepy, it, it just... It works so well for what the movie is. The writing in the movie is usually pretty good too. Uh, sometimes it gets a little less good for every character not named Arthur Fleck, but it's usually good. The cinematography is also really, really good as well. It's just shot well. I don't know how else to expand on that. It's a pretty simple topic. The movie also does a really good job of just showing some unsettling things. It's kind of hard to go into detail without explaining it or without spoiling the movie, but it's, yeah, it's just unsettling to watch a lot of the times, and that's mostly done to Mr. Phoenix's acting. I, I don't know how to say his first name, but it just, that and combined with the creepy music just makes it so, it just feels wrong to watch almost. It, it's really hard to explain without spoiling the movie, but it's good. Honestly, that was probably my favorite part of the movie because my girlfriend, who I saw the movie with, did not like that. Sorry for putting you on blast if you're watching this. I'm really not sorry at all. No, no, it, it's good. It's it's very well done. It, it's unsettling without like just grossing you out almost. It's hard to explain. I, I don't want to spoil the movie, so. The movie for me as well was also weirdly depressing. The fact, like, they make the, the Joker's laugh in the movie like a disorder. I, I can't remember what it's called. I should have done my research, but. I don't remember what it's called, but there's a laughing disorder that makes you laugh uncontrollably. The Joker has it in the movie, and it's just depressing. It, 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 there's a few things like that, but that, that that's the most outstanding thing that just, whenever he's having an attack or something like that, it just makes me sad. That was about all the good things. There are other good things in the movie, but I can't really go into a lot of it without spoiling the movie, so we'll leave it at that. Let's move on, let's move on to some of the things I did not like about the movie, because there were things I didn't like about the movie. As I briefly touched upon earlier, everybody not named Joker is kind of underdeveloped. His mom is okay, but not amazing. She's probably the second best well-written character, but everybody else is just kind of underdeveloped, and that's mostly due to the fact that it's, it's, it's just about Joker. It's not about everybody else, but like, uh, Robert De Niro, Jimmy Kimmel. I, I, you don't get to know him a whole, a whole lot, and it's, he's not in the movie a ton. Uh, Sassy Beats, his character, I don't remember her name, is also like that. Just every character not named Joker is underdeveloped. I, I don't know how to put that into words. It's, it's fine though, because it's not about them. It's, it's about Joker. It's his story. It's exclusively about him. It's okay. The Waynes did not have to be in the movie. They felt kind of forced in and fan service -y. They only put Bruce Wayne in, for example, Bruce Wayne and Alfred, so the audience can go, hey, that kid's gonna be Batman. I like Batman. He, yeah, it's just, it was just fan service -y to me. And this, Alfred shows up for one scene, just so the audience can go, look, it's Alfred. I like Alfred. Batman. 
yeah, it's just, it, spoiler, I'm going to briefly talk about a spoiler. Skip to this time stamp if you don't want to know a spoiler. The Waynes die at the end of the movie, it just felt obligatory, like, we gotta kill the Waynes somehow, we gotta have Batman somehow, just, just, just kill him, just some random guy, just, just kill him, just get it over with. It just felt fan servicey. I didn't like, uh, some of the hallucinations that go on in the movie, because the Joker is obviously insane, there's always a sense of not really knowing what's real and not real. Some of it was done very, very well. I'm not gonna say why, because of spoilers. Some of it was done less well. Brief spoiler again, skip to skip to that lovely timestamp to avoid, if you don't want to know anything. But the ending to me, where it's kind of a notion of, hey, what if this whole movie was a hallucination? Feels like a cop out to me. It, you know how Inception ends with the like the, the, the little spinny dreidel pop thing? I don't remember what it is. It's been a while since I've seen uh, Inception. You know, at the, at the end of the movie with the, the thing, it's spinning on the table. Do I have a pop? No, I don't have a top. I'm gonna use Frozone. Um, so, pretend this little Lego Frozone. Pretend this is uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's top. And my hand is, I just pop the thing. So at the end of the movie with the little, at the end of the movie with the little top is spinning, and you know, in the movie they're like, whoa, uh, the top, if it spins forever, it's a dream. If it doesn't spin forever, it's reality or whatever. It's been a while since I've seen Inception. But at, and they cut it off before they see if the top falls or stays up or not. It's kind of like that. That's the closest thing it reminds me of. It just, I, I don't like it. It feels kind of cop outy to me. Um, it's one of those things, it's just kind of clickbait, basically, for movies just for, that people will be talking about for years to come. Like, whoa, what's the real answer? There really is no real answer. It's just kind of stuff happening to let people talk about it and whatnot. And that's, some people like that. Personally, I don't doesn't ruin the movie. So that about every uh, so that's about everything I liked and didn't like about Joker. I want to keep this very short. So, yeah, the acting is by far the best part of the movie. It's definitely worth seeing, but I don't think it's this pinnacle of filmmaking that people are talk are hyping it up to be. It's good. It's very good. It's not one of the best movies I've ever seen. No, it's worth seeing. Go watch it. I rate this movie a smiley face out of 10. That rating doesn't make sense, but then again, neither does the ending of the movie. That was a spoiler, wasn't it? Anyway, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. L like, uh, like and subscribe. I need the validation. Sorry for not uploading a whole lot. Recently, I've been so busy with school. University's hard. Don't go to school, kids. Just work at a gas station. I'm working on something, I swear. It's about Buzz Lightyear. It'll be out eventually after this video, maybe something else. We got a few watch-alongs that got copyright stricken. Now that the strike on my channel has gone away, I'm gonna try re-uploading it heavily filtered. Uh, there was the one about the B-movie, there was a Garfield, there were two Garfield ones, but I only ever tried uploading one. And there's one about robots, which I never tried uploading. Like, you know, the Ewan McGregor one? Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good night, everyone, I guess. I'm gonna go take a nap. Uh, also, the Joker says we live in a society, so that basically makes the movie a masterpiece. I forgot to say that.